welcome back all right so we have just introduced uh, sql on my sql and talk about using php and my sql so we are actually going to start that right now and we'll start with connecting to my sql database using uh, php right so um there is something i want to bring to your notice before we get into this um there are uh, two ways to connect to uh, mysql databases using php one of them is mysqli and the other is bdo right uh, you can get to check all of this mysqli means mysql improved and uh, bdo on the other hand you can you can you can search so if you need a short answer it will be whatever you like right which one do you want to use just choose any you want to use but in this course we are going to be using my sqli now pdo works uh, on 12 different database systems right my sql uh, postgres and all the other database management system uh, my sqli on the other hand works only on my sql databases right so it is my sql database specific and uh, you might want to say okay this one works on 12 different databases why not go into that yeah it's something we can go into it but for this course i want us to actually just dwell on my sqli right and so so far if uh, you have to switch your project to use another database video makes sense right it makes uh, a better choice for you because you only have to change all the simple things uh, and so on to get it up and running but my sqli you might have to really have to switch a lot but that is not the, that should not be a reason why we should not do my sqli because we are doing my sql we are going to use my sqli for this course and for this training also uh, my sqli is both object oriented and procedural meaning that what we've been doing so far with php they call it procedural programming and uh, we are going to actually be using uh, mysql procedural when we go to object oriented php we are going to do mysql like object oriented right All right so uh both pdo and mysql they all uh, uh, they all support prepared statement we are going to get into prepared statement in the the future course and just to let you know, prepare statement, they protect your database from SQL injection, which is still something we are going to talk about. And it is very important for web security. So uh, this was just an overview of connecting to MySQL databases, what you should use, which I don't really have a say in what you should use. But in this tutorial, we are going to use MySQL. All right. So now let's talk about connecting to databases how to open a connection to databases uh some of the times when you have to actually connect to a database you must provide some credentials right and you cannot actually get to work with the database without establishing a connection between uh you and between your application and the database so um to connect to uh and my SQL database, you can actually uh, use this simple syntax that you have here. Uh, you have to set the host name or the server name. You have to set the username. You have to set the password. You can even set the database in that case, right? And to connect, you use the MySQLi underscore connect, and then you pass in the the various uh, credentials that you've put right or well, go practical you actually see how this is used right and then you should also note that um, you should always try to catch errors when you're establishing a connection between your database and your application and also whenever you finish with a database it's always nice to close the connection and that is why you have to close a connection here simple syntax my sql underscore close right so um i'm going to switch to my editor to 
actually show you how to establish a connection. I have set a simple uh, uh, code structure here just because I do not want us to be typing over and over. Let me increase my screen. Oh, this is big. Right. Okay, so we have this and uh, I am still working on my uh, uh, files, right? The same folder with the same project files. Now I created a different file called databases. And the first one is called connect.php. And that is where I'm going to establish my connection, right? So uh, in this case, uh, we are just going to connect to a database without establishing the database name also. The, uh, yeah, the database name. We just want to connect to the server, right? So you pass in the various credentials. Uh, I am using a Linux system and my host is uh, 1.2, 127.0.0. Or uh, in other words, you just have local host, right? You can use local host. The reason I am not using local host is because I have other projects that are actually uh, occupying that server name and when I want to connect to it, I get error. So I changed it to 127.0.0.1, that is a host. And then the default user for my SQL is root. And the default password is null, right? It's an empty string. Okay, so this is where you establish a connection. You use the mysqli underscore connect, mysqli underscore connect. Right. This is what you use, this one. And then what you pass in, or uh, if I actually start typing, you see I have to pass in the host name, right? Then I pass in the username, then the password, and the optional database, and all of the others, even the ports, and so on. All right, so that is what we have uh, down here. So I'm not going to write this again. So I'm going to secure a connection. And then this is going to uh, return a, uh, what did they say it returns? It is going to return a Boolean a connection. And it is from that Boolean that you can either know whether the connection was established or, or not, right? So since it returns a Boolean, I can store the Boolean in a variable called com, right? Now, and then I will check if the connection was successful. So. Okay, so I have some issues. Let me try to resolve that. Okay, uh, coming back. Sorry if you heard the noise in the background. Okay, so I was saying that with this connection returns a boolean, whether it was true or not, and we can pass that boolean onto a variable and then we do some try catch. All right, so we try to check if the connection was successful. This is if it is false then you see database connection failed else database connection uh, was established successful so if i actually get to run this let me clear the console and i'm going to actually type php connect php and we have undefined variable pass sorry this is password right so if i run this you see connected to database successful right so we have been able to connect to a database and this is how you establish your connection to a database right that is an established or uh, you have established your connection to a database and then from there you can actually start writing your queries and so on keeping into consideration that it has been established so the next thing we are going to talk about will have to be a uh, how to actually create a table in my SQL database, right? So a database consists of one or more tables and you will need special create privileges to create or to delete a database. So this is SQL and this is the part that I'm not going to dwell on, giving grants to users and so on. But you can always, you know, you should learn to, to search, right? And to create a database, you use the special keyword create, right? create database 
and you pass in the database name and so on so we will actually go into that this is the syntax right uh, for example uh, the database is called the sql statement is create database and then you pass in the database now if you look at this right uh, come through this so this is the sql create database then the database name it is a syntax standard right and you should also note that this create and this database uh, they are not case sensitive meaning that if you type or uh, small letters it will still be understood so this is going to create a database right called zuri php student and we check now how do you actually get to execute that query you use the mysql underscore query then you pass in the connection that you had established then the uh, sql statement now i'm going to explain this when we actually go into our code so i'm going to switch back to my code and i'll go to create gp create db and if you notice something here uh, there is something uh, through the connection right so if you notice there is something i have added which we did not talk about in any of our php tutorial we are able to actually inference or reference another file from another file right so we had a connection or the connect with php and we can actually reference that connection in this other file right so from here we can actually when this script runs it creates a connection at this top because we have called this connect.php right and then now let's come to our actual uh, uh, deal and that will be the create table statement right so i have my sql statement right and that is called create database then the database name right so uh, just to comment create database query right so this is a query to create database good so that is one thing that is just the statement now we have to execute this statement so first thing we check if there is con what is this con this con comes from here this database connection that we established so we check if there is a connection then you should execute this query so my sql underscore query performs a query on the database so it performs a request to the database telling the data telling the, our server sorry to create a database right so this is going to take in two parameters you have the connection and you have the sql statement right so the connection is what we established in a different file which doesn't mean you cannot establish it in this file you can always establish it in that same file so it's not um standard that you have to do it in a different file but just for the sake of being organized so use my sql underscore query to run your connection and the query so we check if the connection was successful this is true right so if it was true then we should execute this query please take note of this my sqli underscore query which is used to actually perform your query to the database now if it was done you say okay echo database created successful else there was an error right this is an error handler which is a an inbuilt function if you notice so it returns a string description to the last error so it's just an error handler in case we do not actually uh, the database could not be successfully created for one reason or the other it can be printed out all right so this is a query to create a database this is a query sql and this is how you execute the query right now once this is complete then you can actually close your uh, connection right i hope this was clear so if we get to actually execute this uh let me type uh, php create db dot php and i run it you notice there are two things first connected to database successfully where is this coming from it is coming from this file right 
this file is where the connection is and then the next one is database created successfully which is coming from this meaning that our query was uh, it was successful right so uh, in this file two things were executed they connect the php and the actual create query so how do you actually check if your database was created so i'm going to uh, actually pull in my browser and from this browser i'm going to open my uh, php my admin php my admin so this is where you can actually access your databases once your zamp is running uh, you can actually access this okay okay so we have our databases if you look at this sql and so on so if you want to actually learn sql you can write your queries here for example create database then pass the database name for example say um, three test right this is an sql statement to create a database and if i hit on go you see it was successfully created now this was not what we wanted to see we wanted to see that the database called zuri php was created and if we come back you can actually see this right increase my screen you can actually see the zuri php and if you notice here there is no table right so our query was executed so in this tutorial we have established our first query and we have been able to create a database and we have seen it in the next uh, tutorial we'll actually see how to create a table and insert data into it right yeah so see you in the next one